welcome back everybody so today we're gonna have the next tasting of my tropical white session IPA um, now this was a five gallon batch that I brewed then I split it into five one gallon batches this one is using the BRY 97 yeast uh, bottled on 7 5.14% ABV. For the grain bill, 5 pounds, 8 ounces of 2-row Brewer's Malt 2-row, uh, 4 pounds of white wheat, Roar for the boil, 1 ounce of Warrior 60, that is it. Uh, after the hour boil, uh, cut off the heat, uh, take it down to 170, then for 20 minutes we're putting in 0.5 ounces of Amarillo, Centennial, Citra, then one ounce of Galaxy. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what we think. Hopefully it's a little bit better than the tasting two of batch one. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a card up here so you can go watch that. Okay, Hiss, good smoke. Go ahead and get it into the glass. I wanted to try out some different yeasts just to see uh, what they would do. Uh, if you've been watching me for a while, I did do the series, uh, my um, uh, Centennial uh, Cascade series where I did 20 beers, and that was just a nightmare to review all 20 beers at once. I don't want to go back to that. Uh, so I figured five yeasts because I did post it on Facebook and somebody said, oh, you need to do that with 20 different yeasts. I, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll do five, then maybe uh, I can get five more and do those, and we can kind of see uh, what's going on. But for this one, um, white head that I do have, small, medium bubbles, not even a quarter finger of HUD. Color. Yeah, bright yellow. This one seems like I can see through it a little bit more than uh, batch one, but we'll have a side-by-side -side of all of them in another video uh, but yeah hazy i'm guessing that's the protein from the uh, white wheat that's doing that and maybe a little bit from the hops let's go ahead and smell yeah more just straight up passion fruit uh, like I, I usually call passion fruit like a stinky foot and that's about all you're getting in here the dog's going crazy Yeah, just a light passion fruit, and that's from the galaxy, I'm guessing, um, since they all, at least what I remember of batch one, they all have that passion fruit. Let's go ahead and taste. Body's a little thinner, nice passion fruit with a little fruitiness all the way to the back from like the start of the palate all the way to the back aftertaste i do get a little weediness there's a little wheat toasted bread just real lightly toasted bread uh, along with that passion fruit there's a touch of bitterness in there um beer smith said that this was supposed to be 72 ibus perceived bitterness is probably 30. Uh, just a touch of bitterness in the aftertaste that i'm getting uh, nothing like batch one Very smooth, a lot smoother, body's not as heavy. Um, in between medium, or uh, light and medium, kind of three quarters of the way to medium. And I'm just saying that because I had batch one, so I know what the body is. Um, yeah, again, I, I think I screwed up and used too much Galaxy. I think that Galaxy really took over um, in this beer and it could be subduing all the other flavors that are trying to come out uh, so in saying that uh, We'll do some more testing with galaxy, but it almost seems like uh, You might want to cut back on the galaxy if you want other hop aromas or flavors to come out Yeah, this one's not bad. I think it's better than beer one, but for two months old, um, it's okay. Not not the best thing. Would I make five gallons of it? No. Uh, we'll talk about the yeast and um, 
the side by side, but just going by what I'm tasting and what it looks like and what it smells like, um, I would say it's dropping out more of the haziness in there. Uh, we'll have to see what the other ones taste like uh, to see if it's doing anything to the actual taste or smell of it. But at least in this, it seems like it's cleaner. Um, just for the simple fact that big dankiness isn't in this one like it was in batch one. And again, there, it's a five gallon batch made open the spout the ball valve fill it up and just different yeast there's no dry hop nothing like that in here so i i would have to think that the yeast is uh having the the bry 97 yeast is going to have a little less of a body in there but yeah still good so if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here, and until next time, happy brewing.